All right, everybody. You know, you guys are trying to learn and figure out how to use the Daytona sensor software. I'm going to do a quick little raw YouTube video here. I'm kind of walking you guys through it, make it a little simpler for you guys to watch a little video and kind of do it step by step. You can pause the video as you're doing it. If you need to stop back up, uh, should help with some of the tech questions and phone calls and stuff like that. Make it a little bit easier to see what you're uh, doing with it. So basically, if you load the software disk that comes with our product, or you can go to the website, um, the website address, DaytonaSensors.com. This is basically the main homepage that will come up to it. When you go to either the homepage or off of the CD, we're gonna come right over here to downloads. We will scroll down to find whichever product we need. This video that we're doing here, we're going to be doing for the Daytona Sensors Smart Spark LS software. So what we are here, and if you have any questions or you need uh, instructions to read or do any of that kind of stuff, that's also listed here. Um, we're also gonna have to install our USB driver. Just so I'm right here, we'll go ahead and do the USB driver installation. So we're gonna install the USB driver. All right, so going to do the USB driver. Bear with me because I'm trying to look through my phone and do this here. So we're going to click on run when it asks us to do that. Then it'll come up. Uh, the FTDI is who we use for our driver. So yes, basically once that opens up, we're going to go to extract and then just follow the prompts. Um, as it basically asks you to do next it'll copy them down finish so that's basically that's the USB driver detail it's on the CD software and on the website so that's basically the how-to on installing the USB drivers to get that going as far as the software to do our programming for the smart spark we're going to go down here to the PC link smart spark software version 2.1 so we'll click on that it opens up our screen up here we're going to click save and then basically it'll have a little prompt to bottom of the page this is on a windows 7 system but pretty much they're all basically the same so we're going to click on run as it's running it'll go through do all the preparations as it's running then just kind of walk right through follow the prompts next let it just go ahead and you know do the recommended settings the modified next next install and basically that's all said and done so that's how to do the basic installation of your the pc link software to do your editing your gpio your two-step your retards all the programming in the box is basically done off of that we're going to go back here the next thing, um, it's called the Smart Spark Log. We don't have data logging yet, but this is basically for doing your real time viewing. So once you have it fired up and running, you want to look at RPM, commanded timing, um, you know, just you know, check voltage. This is the software you're going to install. So we're just going to go ahead and do that while we're downloading the software. We're going to basically click through. It says save. You can save it. I just do run just so it goes ahead and loads it up. Uh, as it's doing, it's downloading, doing what it needs to do. Follow all the impromptus that pop up. Next, you have to click accept for the license agreement. And then you can put whatever, whatever name or you can just kind of just go right next through. Install. Unknown. We know, you know, we're actually trying to install it. Software is good. So click yes. Basically runs through and finish. So that's the basic installation whether you're doing it off of the software disk that comes with any of our products or if you want to do it off of the internet at uh, the www.daytona the little dash hyphen mark sensors.com uh, and go to your product uh, downloads and that's where you can download everything for pretty much all of our products that we make 
So that's the basic uh, installation. And then the next little deal here I'll do is how to actually set it up and communication ports and your timers. That'll be the next little video here.